Hello and welcome to Lightworks. In this tutorial video we're going to have a look at restoring edits in Lightworks that have been started on other edit softwares. If you do start an edit in another NLE software you can export your edit data via AAF or XML files. Both AAF and XML are supported for import into Lightworks. So first of all, what I'm going to look at is the most simple scenario of transferring an edit from another edit suite for finishing on Lightworks. And we're going to look at FCP7 and we're going to transfer an XML version 5. Now I've got my edit finished. All the media that's in this project is linked to this system to my connected server volume. So let's get that exported. All we need to do, simply export a version 5 XML. There we go, that's done. Now in the XML, the file path to all my shots in this sequence are part of the XML data. If we have a look at the file path information for this shot, Red Surfer MS, and in the XML, here's the details that references that shot. It's exactly the same. So let's get it imported into Lightworks. Open the import tool. Grab the XML, nothing special you need to do here, straightforward, hit import. All the shots are imported, all online, and we've got our edit here. Looking at the Lightworks file card, I can see my media is linked to my server volume, and the path is all the same as we've just seen in FCP. Now we've exported our XML from FCP and re-imported it to Lightworks, all on the same system here. So my relative path back to my media is going to be straightforward to keep under control. But if we have a quick look in Finder here, as long as this relative path is the same on any other system, where the destination is going to be for restoring the XML or the AAF into Lightworks, as long as that relative path remains the same, things are going to be straightforward to rebuild. So now I'm over on my Windows system. I'm in Media Composer. I've linked all the media in this project to a variety of paths on my server and this time round we're going to do a simple AAF export so we're good to go over to Lightworks I'm going to choose export the sequence I'll just save that so that's done straight over to Lightworks import tool there's the AAF hit import again nothing special needs to be done that's all in order media's in all linked up and we're ready to get going so it really is that simple and all these clips i've got in the project are in a variety of paths on my server but of course the relative path remains the same between media composer and lightworks in this case no special processes to follow if your media paths do change we do need to look more closely how to handle that with lightworks and that's what we do next now i've got two projects here one exported from Media Composer and the other exported from FCP7. From Media Composer, you've got an AAF. And I've also been given all the associated media that's involved in this project. From Final Cut, I've got an XML file. And again, I've got the associated media in a variety of folders on the system. Normally, when you import your AAF or XML file directly into Lightworks, all the media your edit refers to is registered in that transfer file. But the path in the file may not actually exist anymore on the system. You could have transferred systems, you could be going from Mac to PC, there could be drives which are no longer connected, and so on. The Lightworks import process makes it easy for you to relink your imported AAF or XML back to the original media, even if the path is different. Let's have a look at doing that now. Firstly, AAF. Let's jump over to Lightworks. Simply go to the Import tool and bring up the regular file importer. Here's my AAF folder. I've got the AAF edit data file here, and you can see beside the AAF file, some media shots at that level I've also got media distributed in subfolders. The key to importing AAF or XML correctly into Lightworks and avoiding having to import the media separately and fill your edits with the find material to fill edit function is to place your AAF or XML in the same folder as your media. Once you've done this, go to the Import Panel Cogs Settings menu 
and take a look at the AAF XML options menu, search for media. There's three options here. No, don't search for media. Simple, search for media that's in the same folder as the AAF or XML resides. Or thorough, where not only will the media search take place at the same level as your edit transfer file, but it'll also look through the subfolders and their child folders in the tree. Simple, i.e. look in the same folder for media, will be the default setting in Lightworks. I'm going to set my search to media to no. First of all, let's quickly import the AAF file. And you can already see that no media has been brought in. We've got the media offline printed on the tiles. The edit has been reconstructed, but there's just no media in it. There you go. Everything's offline in white. Let's clear all that away. Delete those logs. And try again. Import the AAF. This time, we choose Simple. Remember, Lightworks is going to look for media that resides at the same file level and import that. Well, this time we've done a bit better. We do have some online files, but there's still some offline files as well. Checking that sequence, you can see about a third of it is populated. Specifically relates, these colored files here are online. And that's these shots here. But I want Lightworks to drill through and check in all of these other folders because I know that the rest of the media that I need is in there. Try the import again. Import the AAF using thorough. Scan all local files and subfolders as well. Press import. And there we go. All our tiles are online and we're looking in good shape. Rechecking the edit. That's fully populated. Excellent. Now this sequence has come from Media Composer and what's happened is that Media Composer has the video tracks the opposite way round to Lightworks. What we see in Lightworks as V2 on the source system is above V1. To help you deal with this there's a great function to switch enabled tracks. All you need to do is mark and park the range of your sequence you wish to switch. Enable the tracks to be switched and use the shortcut command Alt and S. If I press this now, the tracks are flipped over and this now looks exactly the same as it did in Media Composer when I exported it. That's all dealt with. Volume node automation has been transferred audio crossfades have been transferred, a wipe has been transferred that was applied in Media Composer. Additionally, segment levels have also been transferred. And that's the Lightworks clip gain, this field here in the white numbers. So that's AAF. Now XML importing works exactly in the same way. You just need to place the exported XML in the same folder where your media resides. Let's clear away all of this Back to the import tool, over to my XML edit transfer folder, and I've got a similar setup. Here's my data XML of the edit. Select the XML, just double check in the import settings. The search for media method is thorough. All the media is imported, there's the edit, and we're in good shape, ready to carry on editing. So we hope you enjoyed transferring and finishing your edits to Lightworks from other edit softwares with AAF and XML transfer. Thanks for watching.